Thank you so much for purchasing Beast Broadheads. In this video, we're diving into the do's and the don'ts of the broadhead and how to get the most from your beasts. So to get started, let's talk about deploying and setting the blades of the Beast Broadhead. We have a patented no band, no collar retention system that is 100% fail proof, so it's super easy to use. Let's dive in. Now I know it's obvious, but don't deploy the blades with your fingers in the way. Now you're probably wondering what's on my fingers. Well, we have finger protectors that come in each and every pack and I highly recommend and encourage you to use them because guys, these blades deploy at over 650 miles an hour. And so whenever you guys are deploying these, they will cut your fingers to the bone. So make sure to use these or use your shirt, use something to protect yourself. How you wanna deploy these is actually from the bottom. So your fingers on the back side, just like that. So when you're setting these, make sure you set these with your protectors on because you cannot cut your fingers. Now don't slide it up and down and doll your broadhead. Just kind of keep it right there at the end and then set them just like that and you're good to go. And again, it only takes 1.3 pounds to deploy these blades, so it's not very much. Most mechanicals on the market range from five pounds. I've seen the crossbow versions all the way up to 15 pounds of force to deploy our blades. So again, deploy and to set, just pull them all the way down until they lock in like that you're good to go. I can't emphasize enough, use extreme caution when you're messing with these blades. Each and every one of our blade goes through a nine step process, including our cryogenically freezing process, where we freeze our blades at negative 90 degrees, which changes the molecular structure of the steel, allowing us to get our blades extremely sharp. So when I say these bad boys are sharp, I mean they are sticky sharp. So again, don't get your fingers in the way. Use the finger protectors that come in the packaging and at least use your shirt or something else to protect your fingers from being sliced to the bone. Now I've gotten this question a lot about practicing with these heads. I get it. A lot of you have seen field point accurate on the broadhead packaging and you shoot them and they suck and they're definitely not field point accurate. But I can promise you here at Beast Broadheads, that is not the case. Our broadheads are ballistically matched two field points. So when I say our broadheads are truly ballistically matched to field points, I mean it. The in-flight diameter of Beast broadheads is only 0.64 inches wide. That's 36% less than most mechanicals on the market. That means we have 36% less drag than most mechanicals, and that means they're 36% more forgiving. This streamlined design makes them extremely aerodynamic and more forgiving in windy conditions. But we didn't just make broadheads that were aerodynamic. We also engineered these heads where the center of mass is as close to the insert as possible. If you get a big broadhead where the center of mass is far away from the insert, this changes the dynamic spine of your arrow, and this will affect your accuracy. With our broadhead, we engineered the center of mass to be within 0.3 inches of your field points. This keeps the dynamic spine of your arrow exactly the same as your field points. Lastly, even though our in-flight diameter is only 0.64 inches wide and the center of mass is almost identical to field points, there's still one more factor that can change the impact of your accuracy. That factor is the drag created by the exposed blades. When we ran the calculations to offset the little drag created by the deployment tabs, we found if we made the broadhead weigh 98 to 99 grains instead of 100, it offset the drag exactly to where the broadheads and the field points would hit the same hole every single time. So when I tell you our broadheads are ballistically matched to field points, this isn't just some marketing message. This is engineering truth with our heads. Rest assured, at any distance, our broadhead will hit the exact same spot as your field points. Even after all that, some of you will still shoot them into a target. So if you do this, do not pull them backwards. And so what I mean by that is if this goes through the target and it is deployed like this, do not pull them backwards like this. This is the only way you can damage this broadhead is by trying to rip it back out of the target. It's the only way the blades can actually bend. So the only way to get your broadhead out of the target is to push it all the way through and then just unscrew it. Now the same goes for shooting animals. So most of the time you're likely to get a pass through, but if you don't, don't pull the broadhead back out of the cavity. Just unscrew it and retrieve it out of the cavity when you field dress your harvest. Which brings me to my last point with these heads. They are reusable. On average, you'll be able to shoot two to three animals with your beast before needing to resharpen or replace the broadheads. So keep this in mind. 
Our bride heads don't get dull very easily. With our cryogenic freezing process, our blade retention is significantly higher than any other blades on the market. The only exception we found was if you get a complete pass through and it buries into the dirt or rocks. That will dull the blades very fast and I would not use them again on your target animal. But that's up to you. Just know, if you use a dull broadhead on an animal, it will not penetrate as well and not expire your quarry as fast. So use your best judgment when it comes to reusing the blades. So enjoy the brand new Beast Broadheads. We have spent years perfecting these heads and made it our goal to engineer the best broadhead to ever hit the market. I'm beyond confident that we have achieved just that and we are continuously working to never let you guys down. Lastly, when you harvest an animal, please message it to us. I absolutely love seeing the success photos and hearing your broadhead testimonies. So if you would take the time to send them to me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you again for your support.